Hi, welcome to the Giving Flower Podcast. I'm Kimber Lolly on Ravelry, Plurk, Instagram, everywhere. I'm a pickle <laughs> on Ravelry. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Go befriend us. Go befriend us. <laughs> Um, thanks for coming and watching us today, taking your time out. I think it's really cool that you take your time out to watch us. Don't know why, but you know, hey, that's what you want to do. Work with it. It's good, right? You have time to knit. Yeah, well, that's what I do. Knit and watch <laughs> podcasts. Anyway, so, um, really quickly, because my co-host would like to go geocaching, so she thought, um, we, you could quickly talk a little bit. show what, been doing. what I'm working on, and then we'll go into the show. But go ahead. What have you what have you been up to? What are you working on? Okay. What are you doing? Um I bought yarn. This week. Really mm -hmm. pretty and I don't know for what I'm gonna use it yet. Uh yeah. But pretty. Mm-hmm. And for the other Wait a minute, what is it? It's sock yarn. Here, let's show it really quickly. It's really cool colors. Purples and greens and pinks. It's kind of fluorescent. And it's clawed call it's clawed. It's called um Flaumania? Romania color. Right, from Regia. Schachenmeyer. Yeah. So we had to have that. So that was our little purchase this week. Keep going. What else have you been working on? Um, for the Olympic game, I want to finish my monster. Okay, and your monster is, I brought it down. Where okay. is it? Um, well, Where's that one? Oh, here it and is. And my cat hat. Mm-hmm. The Ravelinix is what we're talking about. We are, of course, crazy enough to join in the Ravelinics. We are on Team Yarn Over Berlin and Friends. Um, go ahead, take it out. I'm just kind of talking with you here. There's the other co-host. <laughs> Can't see her. This one right here. That's the body. Um... Wait, wait, wait. you got to show it. Here's the body. She's been working on this forever, but now with the Ravelinix, she is going to fly through it, right? This is a foot, which I finished from there yesterday evening. Watching the Olympics? Yeah. And then the two arms that I've done already. Excellent, excellent. We just have to work on weaving in those ends, and then you're working on the left, last foot, right? And then I need two more ears, but then I'm done. Excellent, excellent. We're gonna have we're gonna have a finished medal. Mm. I mean, I'm a gold have medal. My finished finished monster. project, gold medal. Okay, yes, and your finished monster. And then yeah, the cat hat. The cat hat is right there. Another project that she'd like to finish in the next two weeks, which I think we is, is doable because we are flying. We are going to finish these things. If you remember, she showed you the um, cat hat that she made for her American Girl doll. Well, she's also making one for herself. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so this is the one ear flap, so it goes on, oh, you want me to help you? Uh -huh. Just on like that, and then one the other flap. one is not done yet, but almost, kind of. Yep, it's quick though, isn't it? If you can yeah. hear that in the background, the cat is scratching at the scratching post, <laughs> because we are talking to ourselves down here, apparently, so she needs to join in. Okay, very good. So those are the things you've been working on, huh? And for... Um, Christmas, which came January sometime, <laughs> and uh, from America, Rainbow Looms. Yeah, from who? Who gave them to you? Uh, my grandma, so, yeah. My grandmother, her name is Mimi, we call her Mimi. She doesn't like grandma. That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a grandma. Careful. She just, sorry, sorry you got sick. She grabbed one of the bracelets she's making. It was on the box that this is on, that the phone is on. This is only one kind. This is one of the bracelets that she's been making with a rainbow loom. And, of course, we're late to the party. Everyone knows about a rainbow loom, but we're late to the party. So. Yeah. But this is only one kind. It's the Starburst. but Which is my favorite. <laughs> she has, made these for like me. It looks like flowers. Yes. <laughs> of course. So I love it. And, and she's made this for me because of the Olympics. So this is my Olympic bracelet. We made a German one that went to whom? Nicole. We C sent it to Nicole. Men. This. This. Yep. Because yep. it was her birthday. So that was part of her birthday present. So we sent that off to her. I'm going to we'll send about that her later. more. Yeah. Oh. oh. She watches I'm this. not going to send it. No, anymore. we don't send them anything. I've got some stuff we can send this week. 
Anyway. Yeah. What else have you made, Joe, that one? Yeah, this is... Another Starburst one. Yeah, this one is a little broken, but I'm going to make a new one out of these colors. So, there they you go. They are colors. Cool, cool. Okay. Is there anything else? I um, think you're good. I think that's about it. Thank you for joining with me. Joining okay. me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Talking's difficult. I'm sick, as you can hear, so it's kind of tough. All right. Thanks. You can go if you want. Okay. I'm going to use my pretty yarn. Anyway, so. <sighs> it's been a big week. A long week. A long two weeks. It's, I've, had, I've been very busy. Um, as you can hear, I'm kind of sick. Go ahead and close the door. Thanks. Go ahead. You're fine. Bye-bye. <laughs> she didn't want to stick around for the whole thing, so. I was kind of psyched that she actually stayed for that long. Um... Yeah, it's, it's been a busy week. This past weekend, I had a conference. It's um, Association of German International Schools in Hanover, and I go every year, try to go to every year. And it's really good because there are a lot of conferences where you can learn new things. Uh, teachers teach teachers, which I think is the coolest thing because who knows best than ourselves? So I go, and I go to all of the seminars, and... I've got a lot of new ideas. I met some people that I met last year, some people who are also Spanish teachers, really kind of fun. And yeah, I had a great time. I got a lot of knitting in, which is also a benefit to <laughs> going away for the weekend. Although if I were home, I'd be knitting too, so it's kind of knit everywhere I go. Um, but it was really neat to be able to get new ideas. So um, yeah, and I've been working on a lot of things for school, which at some point I'll be talking about because I have a website and I have some... some um, materials and things so but we'll ta I'll talk about that another time um, yeah so that's how my week has been uh, I stayed home two weeks ago Tuesday and Wednesday because I couldn't make it anymore I, I thought I can't I can't go into work or like this feeling this horrible and then I got better went to Hanover and then last week oh my goodness it got even worse um, but I did go to work because this following week we have vacation we have winter vacation we have winter break so I'm kind of excited about that. So we're going to be home all week, and uh, I hope I have a lot to do. So we'll see how much I get done. Yeah, so that's how the week's been. Um, I'd love to say how's your week, but I can't hear you. So that's kind of silly. Anyway, what have we been working on? Oh, what have I been working on? First things first, I have been... Um, I did work a little bit on my... What is it called? Um... Central Central Park hoodie, and of course I'm in the middle of the row. Wouldn't it be? This is how much I have done. This is in. This is my yarn from Julie. It's a wool and alpaca mix, which she can't wear anymore, so she gave to me, and I love it. And it's perfect for me. So, and it's very thin, but it's going to be nice and warm. So this is the back of it. That's how much I have done. So I did make a little bit of progress on that. In fact, the first cable I cabled wrong. And it bummed me out. So I, instead of going back, I think eight rows, I went down, fixed the cable, and went back up again. Very easy. It really, it looks, it looks a lot more intimidating than it is. It was easy. So I did that. I've been working on that. I have my, my skirt, which is, <laughs> hasn't seen much love. I really want to work on that because that's a perfect spring skirt. So we'll see. But I, of course, have so many things to do. I've got to find priorities. Find my priorities. I have been working on a new design. This is not a new design. It is a new design, but it's not new. It is, um, it's called Bon Bon. The, the candy one shawl that I showed last time is being tested right now. And um, the testers are slowly getting finished. And I really like the results. I love what you guys are doing with them. And then when that's done, I have this one. And what I did is I knit this one already, but I wasn't happy with it. Um, I had started the kit, it's got a cable in it, although it's, it's colorful yarn, it has a cable, and I started the cable too soon. I just didn't love it. It's the one thing I didn't like about it, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to make another one. And this time I'm making it with more. I made the other, um, um, what's, I think this one is Bonbon. This is Bonbon, and the other one is Candy, something like that. They're all, I have three that um, I'm doing right now, all with candy names, because you're supposed to use colorful yarn for them. And I asked Nicole to dye me some yarn. 
Nicole is Nicole C. Mendez. She has an Etsy shop. I talk about her every week because she's my bestie. I, we have a great time together. Um, we talk almost every day, or we chat and type and everything. And um, the first bonbon that I made, I made with Voimiza. And I made it with 100%, and it was about 600, I think, what is it, 600, 150 grams. And so I said, Nicole, could you please, I need 100% in pinks, greens, and light greens, you know, different greens and pink. And she said, okay, I'll do it for you. And I said, I want it crazy, I want it fun. And so she sent me 200 gram skeins, I bought them, put in the order, bought them on her in her store, and this is, this is the color, and I think it is so much fun. It's very bright pink, so it pops. And I have been working on that. In fact, this is what I did in, at my conference the whole time. I worked on this the entire time. So it's kind of, it's got good memories in it because I had a nice time at the conference. I learned a lot. And I love to get on new ideas for teaching. I think it's fun. Teaching to me is another creative outlet. Um, I can go into the classroom and I can try out new things and see how things work. It's fun. It's my, my little thing. So um, this has good memories knit into it. And this is it. You can't see it very well, but I'm, I'm getting there. I have this much to knit, and I was thinking, I'm going to knit this whole thing so it's going to be very big. The other one is 150 grams. This one's going to be 200. So I just have to get through this, and then this will be up for the testing. And it's really nice because it's, it's round. It's round but square on the end, and um, it goes right around your neck. It's one of those that stays there. It doesn't move, so it doesn't slide down, that kind of thing. It's nice. So that's what I've been working on. And you'll see that one when it's done. Like I said, I'm hoping to get this done this week. That. And, like, I don't have enough to do. Because I don't, do I? Mm -mm. Not enough to do. I started another sock blanket. Sock yarn blanket. Now, I have the one, the barn raising quilt. And I'm having a great time knitting those. And there was a very addictive knitting those squares. And when I started that blanket, I had also printed out, and I don't know that I brought it with me. I didn't. Um, the directions for the other sock yarn blanket. And uh, I put those directions to the side and thought I'll just concentrate on the barn raising quilt for right now and I'll do that one later. Well, I finally decided to start it because of course Nicole started hers and so I had to start it too. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. So here we go. This is how much I've done. I started the Olympics Friday, today is Sunday. What is it? The 9th? The 9th of February. And on the Olympics on Friday night, I wasn't feeling well at all. So I sat on the couch and I knit four squares. And those are the first four squares. I started with Nicole's yarn, stripey yarn, and I just went. And a lot of the, it's funny because I have I have sock yarn. I don't have many rests from socks, but I do have yarn that I'd bought in the past that I really liked. And I thought, I don't know that I'll ever be making socks with them. So I'm just going to use them for a sock blanket. It doesn't have to be scraps for me. So this is how much. And then this morning I knit this red one, this green one, and this one, this blue one. So I had started with the four. So this is my sock blanket so far. Oh, and I should put a picture. I have a thread on our Ravelry group. So if you're, if you're knitting along with one of these with us, feel free to show your pictures and, and join in. And let's get motivated together to keep going. These are horribly addictive. And they don't take very long to make one. I'm pretty much doing the pattern, except that I'm making them a little bit bigger. I think I've used um, 44 stitches instead of 36. Not much, cats. Not much different, but I love it. It's really cute. So this will be fun. My husband's like, ooh, I don't know about those colors, but I love it. So that's my sock blanket that I've been working on. And Ravelinix. Are you doing the Ravelinix? I am. So is Alita. Which is really good because she's getting so motivated to knit because it's been kind of like, ah, she can play on the computer or go play with her friend Nadine. And now she has the rainbow loom, so she's been doing those, which is fun too. I, I'm very supportive of that because anything creative is great. Well, now she's knitting with me and it's fun because we both want to win. So, win a medal. So, I've been knitting. Um, for the Olympics, my first thing that I did, and I'll put a picture, I hope I can do it, can't guarantee anything. If we can't find the picture, I sent it to my son, we'll see if he has it. He's my tech editor. And um, my first Ravelinic project was a February lady sweater that I knit maybe three Christmases ago. And it was a, it's a very natural wool, and it's kind of scratchy, 
But I thought, that's no big deal. I can wear a shirt under it. And I was so happy with it. And I kept trying it on. And I thought, it's too small. It's too small. It's, it didn't fit in the arms. And I thought, well, I'll just block it. It's wool. It'll block right out. Well, I had it almost done. I had one of the arms three quarters done. And the other arm still needed to be done. And I blocked it. It didn't get any bigger. So it's been sitting since then with a needle in it <sighs> poor thing so I decided well, I'm gonna do the aerial unwind and I unwound I unwound that sweater last night it took forever every part of it and I hate to unwind I hate going backwards and work but I did it and I was very happy I did and now I've got some nice wool I've balled it all up and I've put it in a plastic bag and it's all ready for the next project and I've taken pictures and I'm gonna put the picture here of my sweater and what it now looks like. And so that was my first medal chance. We'll see if I get a medal for that one. It's done. Now my second thing, and I could do so many things, but I've got a lot of stuff that I want to get done that I can't put into finished. So if I can't finish, I can't win a medal. So, um, because I want to design two things this week. We'll see if I get to it. Um, so, um, <clears throat> and of course with the sock blanket, I can't, I can't finish that one either. So there's no no point in adding that to the Olympics, but I am working on this one, and it's just, it's my own design, but I don't know, we'll see how it looks. Like Alita showed you her yarn that she bought, I bought some too, and this is bright fluorescent pink, and I have no idea, I don't know, I think it's pretty accurate, with purple, and I thought this is the perfect color for a hat for jogging, because when you're jogging, you want to be seen. And even, and I thought this is the perfect color. I mean, you could go hunting with this hat, but I thought for jogging it would be perfect. And so I am making a hat with a runner on it. And you will see, it's this, here it is. And I've started the, with the purple, so the purple is on my face, because I don't know if this bright pink would be. And then it goes bright pink, and I think the purple's gonna start pretty soon. Should be interesting, but I've made the design of a runner running across it, so we'll see. Oh, how it looks. I need to get back into running. So this is kind of motivating me to do that. Once this hat is done, I'll have a nice hat to wear when I'm running. When I'm running, I really like to wear hats because my head gets cold. It's the one thing I I wear. Um, so that's my Rabelinic project. And the yarn, it's the same as hers. I think it's Regia Schachenmeier. Schachenmeier, I don't know. Oh, she didn't do the German word. I'll have to do it. The American doing the German word. Again. So this is my Ravelinic project, and I'm pretty sure I'll finish it. I'm one third of the chart done. So that's on for today. Today is a hang out at home and watch Olympics day. So I've been doing that. My hat, Ravelinix. And I think that's hat half pipe. I think it's cool. I like the little the little um categories. Okay, so that's that. I'm just checking my book really quickly, all my notes. I had to write everything down. <clears throat> oh, I, I also knit <laughs> this past week. One of my, my colleagues and friends at work, one of my colleagues, she's also a friend at work, she has a Kermit the Frog. And on her Facebook page, she and her husband go around and they travel. And when they travel, they take a picture of Kermit. They always take a picture of Kermit here and there and in the cafe. And I mean, they lost him. They have no idea how he got lost. They've looked everywhere, can't find their Kermit. So another colleague and friend, um, she was in America and she bought them a new Kermit, little, little tiny Kermit guy. And Somebody said, well, Kim will knit him a sweater. So I went out, and that's why I bought this black sock yarn. And I knit him a little sweater vest. It's really kind of cute. And I noticed he was very stiff. He was like this because his arms were all stuffed, too stuffed, too full. So um, one day, <laughs> another colleague of, I, of mine and I um, sat and, and ripped. I took my seam ripper to school. And we did an operation on him in the teacher's room. And we pulled out the stuffing, and then I sewed him back up. And I just, I pulled out the majority of the stuffing in his arms and his legs. And now you can pose him. So now he's all ready for pictures, and he has a nice black little vest that I knitted. And it wasn't that easy. You know, it's funny. People say, oh, why don't you knit that? Knit him a little sweater. You have to, you have to figure out how big it is. And then you have to do the decreases, because he's got this big belly, this big fat belly. And then you have to do the armholes. And then, I, I, I mean, I, 
and you have to do the neck big enough that it goes over his head because he's got this big mouth. I, it wasn't all that easy, but it was fun. I had a good time, and she's really happy about him. So that, that was done this week. And then, last but not least, as you can see, what I'm wearing is my absolute favorite. I love this sweater. Love it, love it, love it. This is the Juno. Okay, it's not completely finished. I have buttons. I bought buttons a week and a half ago, and because I was gone last weekend, I haven't sewn them on yet. But the ends are woven in. It's been blocked, and I'm in love. I love the color. I love the style. I love the pattern. Fabulous. I, I am so in love with the sweater, and it's nice and light. Um, the yarn is from Nicole C. Mendez again. She dyed this for me. She did one in gray, and my other friend Alex, hi Alex, Winter Stitch on Ravelry, she did the same color as me, and hers looks really good on her too. I think it might be the color that I'm so attracted to because it's my favorite. It's a purpley blue. It's more purple than blue. And um, we all knit the sweater together. It's kind of our friendship sweater. And I love it. I love it. The buttons um, still have to be put on. They are, they're this blue, and then they have a little bit of purple in them. They're really cool. When I was, I was, I went to Karstadt to buy the buttons. That's a big department store here. And the woman remembered me from seven years ago when I used to live around the corner. She said, oh yeah, because I always ask for help with buttons. I cannot for the life of me figure out buttons. And she helped me and she said, oh, I definitely have to go with these because they are so cool. So I went with those and I'll sew those on this week. So I'll have this fa finished, but it is finished. So I'm wearing it. You don't have to have buttons to have it finished. But it also needs pictures. I need to get some pictures. And until I get pictures, it's not done anyway. But I thought I'd wear it today to show you. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this is, um, the sweater pattern is Juno from Yellow Cosmo. And it's Con I think it's Connie. And she has offered two patterns, two of her patterns. And I closed the, the thread from last two weeks. I keep saying last week, but it's last two weeks. Two weeks ago, the thread from two weeks ago. I've closed it. Um, I There were 40 entries in the giveaway thread, and I drew two names. I drew two numbers. Now, I'm recording on my telephone, on my iPhone, and that's where my random number generator is. So, I took a picture. I drew one number, and that number was 11, and here's the number. So you can see, number 11 was MVA5493, and that's Valerie from Kentucky. <clears throat> and she said she liked the, the shawl taking a chance on love. And then I drew another number right here. And that number was 37. And it was Fiber Fascinations, and that's Carol from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And Carol likes the waves pattern. They're both shawl patterns. Um, uh, Yellow Cosmo has really pretty patterns. So go over there and they're really well written. I have to say, I'm very impressed with this one. So thank you, Yellow Cosmo, for offering two patterns. And thank you, everyone, for joining in on the fun and writing down which one you liked. And those are the two. So if you guys could get a hold of me, and I will give you about a week and then I'll try to get a hold of you. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we will get your patterns to you. Now, German word, really quickly. Alita was going to do this with me. The Olympia. Olympiada. Is, um, the Olympics are called the Olympiada, or you could call them the um, Olympische Spiele. Those are the Olympic Games. Olympische Spiele. So, there you have Olympiada. I always feel strange doing the German word. Although I've taught German, I still feel funny. But I wish the kids were here to do it, because they could do it better than I can. Um, yeah, I wasn't very long. I've been working on quite a bit of things, but I talk fast, don't I? Well, anyway, so that's about it for today. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for taking your time out to, to sit with me. And I will see you in two weeks. Hopefully I will have a few more things done. And maybe I'll be wearing a runner's hat. I don't know. Have a good two weeks and keep knitting. Bye-bye.